Hi everyone, welcome back to Sean's World. Bad news, the wasps are back. I had to stop filming, couldn't work around the back. Just called the wasp man back. Um, and he's gonna come back for round two, so it's gonna set me ladders up and uh, wait for him to arrive. So I've managed to get me ladders that close. I can't go any closer because I keep getting bombarded by the wasps. Don't think I can see them at the moment with the camera, but I can see them with my eyes. They're going back into that hole as strong as ever. So I've been getting quite a few down the chimney inside. Thought it was maybe a few stragglers. Did see another sort of swarm of them congregating around here the day after. Then they kind of sort of disappeared for a day and I think they regrouped and now they're back. So we have got round two on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see whether we can get rid of them this time. Maybe three doses. Ah, never mind, we will get it sorted. It's just a shame that I did plan to start cutting all this down. I've got a friend arriving soon to help me, so I may have to just put that off slightly. We can't work here if we're being, you know, attacked by those wasps. So anyway, he'll be here soon and hopefully We'll see the back of these little critters. See, this is why you must never fill the hole up immediately afterwards. I did ask him and he said, no, leave it for a little while. I said, what, one month? He said, yeah, make sure everything's all you know, finished. So just as well, didn't get up there and fill it up. <laughs> They'd all be coming out in the living room now. So I think it's high on the priority list to get that hole filled as soon as it's dealt with. Never mind. These things are sent to try us and try us. They do. Hasn't put me back too much, just have to reschedule a little bit, but plenty of other projects going on. This is all looking rather nice now, all nicely cleaned, been jet washing, done all the steps as you've seen in a previous video. Yeah, it's coming along rather nice. Gonna get the scaffolding out a bit later on, maybe not today because of the weather and the wasps. Then do the top section. Still not quite sure whether to paint or render. Does look a lot better now it's cleaned. Well, the decision isn't set in stone, so. So he's just turned up now. He's mixing some more stuff up. So let battle commence. Round two. I do hope this is the last round. Surprised they didn't all die off. Only done the last dose. There you go. So I've rescheduled my friend to come and help me do all this on another day. Like I say, it's a bit precarious at the moment. So another day or two won't hurt. So you can see the proximity between you know where we're working and up there, so just not worth it. Oh, he's given me the slip, he's gone the other way. No suit on. Okay, let's intercept him. I bet he didn't think he'd be coming back out here again. Never mind. First attempt weren't successful, so he'll agree he's obliged to come back. He's got to set his ladders up this time, I couldn't do it. Maybe he's got the ump. Never mind. It's not exactly pleased me. I've not been surprised by the amount of people that have contacted me and said they've had similar sort of issues, you know. It's also interesting to see how you've all, uh, you know, dealt with them. Lots of different ideas, some with water, some with paper bags hanging up. I'm sure they're all effective, but with this particular setup, they're inside the chimney void. They're not inside the flue liner, so lighting a fire didn't smoke them out, tried that. It seems to aggravate them and they come more into the room, so this was a last result. Second last result. Here we go. Here comes the lance. He's huffing and puffing. Give it what for this time, mate. Oh, it's all smoking out. I don't really want to be breathing that in. I reckon he was showing off with his outfit the first time, didn't you? And he got gloves on this time. Now, if he's just done it on the outside and it rains, 
that ain't going to be effective. They've got to be sorted this time. There's no coming back. So he came inside and we had a little chat. And he said, well, if you didn't have the cracks on the chimney, they wouldn't be getting in. I said, well, if I didn't have the cracks on the chimney, you wouldn't be here. So that's why we've called you in. Otherwise you wouldn't have no work, would you? So I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do now. You know, I explained to him where he's puffed the powder, it's contact powder on the outside of the, the crack or the hole. I said, once it rains, it's all washed off. Looks like it's going to rain, so he went, shrugged his shoulders. I said, well, no, we need it dealt with. Is the old wasp, uh, the old nest dealt with? Is it gone? He went, well, it could be partial. I said, well, regardless, we need it dealt with. Can't sit in our living room and I can't do no work around here. But I'll give him a chance, see what he's coming back with. I said, what about gassing them? He shrugged his shoulders, so, but he does know he's on camera. <laughs> Lots of people watching him, including me. I think he's just trying something different now. Let's say we did speak about gas, so I'm not quite sure. There we go, here comes the suit. Yep, he's going for it. We can't keep getting wasps in our living room and getting stung. And, yeah, they're everywhere. So oh, yeah, he's going for it. Could have done this to start with, couldn't he? Now I'd have been really impressed if you would have got out a stripey suit, wouldn't you, Tom? <laughs> a yellow and black one. <laughs> All right. Stick on wings. <laughs> Stick on wings. Up he goes. Yeah, it does make you wonder whether he should have done a little bit more the first time, doesn't it? That's it. Get it in there. Get me money's worth this time. And when I explained to him that that powder, it's contact powder, if it's on the outside and it gets washed off, then what? Nothing from a contact with, is there? So I shrugged his shoulders and said, yeah. I said, well, sorry, that's not good enough. Anyway, he's up there, so. That's it, a bit more confidence now that it's done. You know, I do understand it's a tricky operation inside a, a chimney void, but nevertheless, it's what he does for a living, so. You know, just quickly gone inside and shut all the vents and turned fans off and things like that. You know, it's not nice stuff, don't like using this sort of stuff, but can't put people at risk and you're getting stung. And Sounds like Sam's just coming back. I better head her off at the pass. Hello, dear. Hello. Yep, what's man's back? He's just been up there and give it several doses. Yeah. Uh, we explained to him that spraying it on the outside, which he done first off, and in the hole as well wasn't going to be enough if it rained so no. he's gone back up there and give it a good go so so we can do in it yeah all right we'll stay in your car just until he gets out okay then is right. he finished now yeah i think so okay. he's just going indoors now he's just waiting to hear them fall out of the nest or you know hit the top of the register plate make sure they're dying off which they which they should do but uh this happened last time we well, certainly put a lot more stuff in there this time. So he's gone now. Um, we just had a quick chat with him, uh, talked over the options. If this doesn't work, he's pretty confident it will this time. He said he's done all the entry and exit points. I said, you know, what, what about if we haven't, you know, killed off the nest completely? What about sort of filling the holes up and, and gassing, gassing it out? So anyway, he, he seems to be fairly confident that this should have done it. So we'll keep an eye on it. So they touch the stuff and then they die, so maybe they're, uh, they're dying off. No, they're still there. They're going in and out, so it's going to take a few days again, I think. So just be patient once again. I've gone uh, indoors underneath the fire, fireplace, wood burner, and sealed off every mortal tiny little gap. He said sometimes if they see light, they'll come down, but, you know, I can't see how they... They was getting through, I know they was, but... I've just, uh, just sealed it up again, so I'm just keeping an eye on them on the chimney. Yeah, you know, I'll just uh, just get on with it, on with work and uh, keep me eyes peeled. And I'll let you know how I get on. Right, let's get back to the projects.
So let's knock up some lime mortar and just finish pointing around that window, make it nice and watertight. So all pointed up, the top was a little bit tricky but we got there in the end. It's got to be brushed down and neatened up a little bit but it's all in now, fit for purpose. Now on to the next job. Wow, that really has transformed the front of these properties, I think you'll agree. You know, it took me quite a while, but it was well worth it. It didn't cost too much money, which was, you know, very handy. Um, so yeah, the front is looking nice now. We've give everything a, a facelift. Now the only stone area that I haven't dealt with is above this black door in the center here. If you look above, the lintel hasn't been done there, but to the left it has. So that's basically a before and after. Well, it's probably better illustrated with the lintel on that one. So it really has transformed and brightened up the front of these properties. Let me show you the area that me and Sam worked on. And we'll go around the back and I'll tell you about what I'm going to do there. So this is the area in front of our cottage that me and Sam recently transformed. It's still work in progress. I think you'll agree. It's a huge, huge improvement. It's that sort of time of year where the weather's on my side so I think what I'll do I'll make preparations for laying in the water main which is the water to the main cottage. Um, I've got a little bit of work there to do so I'm going to draft in an extra pair of hands. It's going to be here tomorrow so I'll see you all in that video. Thanks for watching, bye for now. Yeah.